Another question that dentists often ask is, uh, I've outgrown the current location. My space, my office space is too small. I'm in a non-growth situation and this part of town is declining. The question that I get is, should I move and invest in a new facility or should I stay? And that's a tough question to ask unless a doctor has done his or her demographic studies. And there are companies available that do just that, that can tell you the per capita income, the ages, the whether they're male or female, uh, a lot of different information, the industries that are involved. So if you're on different insurance plans, you'd want to know what plan those companies in your uh, proposed area are on. So doctor, if you're going to be in practice for another 15 years and the new facility could generate an additional 200 to 300,000 a year, your break even point, even if your practice new location costs 600 to 800,000, uh, your break even point is going to happen in a few years. So you need to really take a look at uh, the demographics, the cost of making this move, how many of your patients would transfer with you. Uh, typically you lose 20% of your patients. If you move more than eight or 10 miles away, that number goes up. So a lot of things factor into it, but uh, most of all, the demographic study, the cost, the break-even point, how many patients would transfer with you, all of these uh, facts need to be considered before you make that decision. But typically, if your practice is an uncomfortable work environment, you also have to think about the stress, the daily amount of stress that you and your team and your patients experience by being in a cramped and dated facility. So uh, there are a lot of companies that I can refer you to that can give you the facts and the figures you're looking for. Thank you.